that is the idea of virtual local area network. And uh, now we will introduce the VLAN principles, how to define the VLAN and assign VLANs. So this is an implementation. Assume that you are the administrator of the uh, network in one company. And in this company, you have two departments. One department is this one, includes PC1 and PC4. Another department includes these PCs. And we can separate them into different VLAN. So one department corresponding to one VLAN. Then the VLAN implementation will be like this. Any package transmitted from a PC from one VLAN will only be transmitted down to the PCs within the same VLAN, but others cannot receive that package. Similarly, this package can only be transmitted to this VLAN. So the broadcasting has uh, limited within the VLAN instead of within the total network. So the junk traffic problem and security problem has been solved. Okay, if we want to do this, actually one key question is that how can these switches know uh, which VLAN the package belongs to? And how do these switches know where to forward the packets to? So to solve this problem, actually we can add a tag in the packet and let the packet to include more information. Uh, that information, we call it the VLAN tag. That is actually a four byte identification for the packet. It identifies which VLAN this packet belongs to and which host they can only be forwarded to. So this is the detailed packet format. If we look at the VLAN frame, um, we will find that actually in the original Ethernet frame, there is no place to put the VLAN tag into it. So if we want to identify which VLAN does this frame belongs to, we need to add a new part, which is the AO2.1Q tag. And the format of this AO2.1Q tag is as follows. It includes four domains. The first domain is the TPID. And if the TPID equals to 8100, it means that this is a L2.1Q tag, and this frame is the L2.1Q frame. And then this is a 3-bit priority. It tells the priority level of this packet. And this is a flag. And finally, uh, the most important part is the VLAN ID, or you can think of that the VLAN tag. It tell in this tag, this is the L2.1Q tag actually. So in this tag, because the VLAN ID is included, so the switch when receive the packet can know which VLAN this packet belongs to. So uh, that helps the switch to forward packet to the correct outgoing interface. And you see that this VLAN ID is a 12 bit. So at most, we have 4096 different VLANs at most. Okay, so this is the VLAN frame. We use this AO2.1Q tag and this VLAN ID to tell us which VLAN this packet belongs to. Okay, so with that tag information included, then you can see that if we want to transmit a package from PC1 to the VLAN 10, then actually when they transmit it, and the switch can add the tagged frame, add the tag into the frame. So the frame becomes a tagged frame. And then when receive this tagged frame in switch two, they can know, okay, they are destined to VLAN 10. So they should forward to this interface, but they cannot go from this interface. And similarly for PC2, they add the tag and then it, it is forward here. So until now, the VLAN, the logical broadcasting domain, can be achieved by adding such a tag in the frames.